Hello everyone, I'm happy to finally present to you all part 2 to my original video on how to remove Steam DRM from old DVD-ROM games. This will completely replace the original video as I have found a new method thanks to my friend Arison. I would like to give a special shout out to him as this video would not have been possible without his help. The reason why a new method was needed is because the version of Phoenix that I had only worked with games older than the year 2010. This new method should work with any game that uses the encrypted syscontainer created by Valve. So anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, the game that we're going to be testing this with is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, and the first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and go over to the disk. And you'll see all the contents of the game right here. Uh, what we actually need to do for this method is we need to go ahead and highlight all of this and go ahead and copy it and then we'll go ahead and take it to whatever folder of your choice and so I'm just going to make a folder in my downloads called uh, The Elder Scrolls 5 and then we're going to click on this and we're just going to paste it. Now this will take quite a while so just give it some time but be patient. Okay, so the next step is going to be to download these two files that I'm going to have linked in my Discord, actually. Uh, so if you join my Discord server, you'll just see a channel called Files, and this will be linked in there, and you can just download them. And uh, anyway, uh, what you're going to want to do is just drag these two files and drop them into the directory. And then what you're going to want to do is make a folder just called backup or something, whatever you want to do. Now you're just going to want to open command prompt, run it as administrator, then type CD and then in quotations copy that directory and then hit enter. And now you're just going to want to go ahead and type in sys install extract all and then in quotations you're going to want to copy the name of your respective sys file right here and for me it's going to be this Elder Scrolls 5 one but for you it's going to be different obviously depending on your, depending on your game. <coughs> I'm going to want to go ahead and copy that then paste it and the, your quotation right there and then type in the folder that you have set to unpack in so for me it's backup so I'm just going to type in backup and then yeah that's basically about it now it's just going to take a little bit to do this it shouldn't take too long uh but yeah just go ahead and be patient let it do let it do its thing okay so now that that is done you're going to want to go ahead to where all this dumped to which for me is this backup folder and you will see that uh, this is merged between two folders for whatever reason i'm not really sure why it may not be for you but for me it is for this specific game uh, so what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and copy these files into one folder, oh. uh, like so, and then just go ahead and replace them. And now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to is open Steamless. So Steamless, I will also have... Uh, linked in the description uh, so you can go ahead and download that and then what we're going to do with Steamless here is um, find our file and you're going to want to go ahead and select whatever exe it is and this is going to remove the Steam DRM from whatever exe and allow you to launch it locally without Steam opening and then you're just going to go ahead and click on pack and now that that is unpacked, you could be good to go. But depending on the game you're using, for my case, uh, this won't work with just um, with just the EXE right here. Because basically, um, on purpose, Bethesda did not include the EXE file on the disk. So that way you would not be able to play this game locally. So the only way that you're going to be able to play this game locally off of the disc, since it's missing the EXE, it does have the launcher EXE, uh, which launches the EXE, but the actual like game EXE is not present. So unfortunately, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually use a cracked EXE. So unfortunately, I can't show you guys 
how to get any of these cracks because of YouTube's terms of service or I can't I can't link any of them but what I can do is I can link my discord down in the description you guys can join it if you guys want to ask any questions related to this I would be more than glad to help uh, but anyway I have some cracked files right here that I'm going to go ahead and paste into this directory and I'm just gonna replace them and now we should basically be good to go this method is much easier than the last one it's pretty straightforward it should work with any game and I'm uh, once again grateful to my friend Arison for helping uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate to you guys that this works oh all right, sorry about that, guys. I selected the wrong launcher file in Steamless, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. And then, as you can see, we have our unpacked EXE pop-up right here, and this is going to be the one we're going to open. You're just going to want to completely ignore this EXE right here because it's not going to work. As you can see, it just tries to open Steam, and it's not going to work, obviously. So you're just going to want to completely ignore the original EXE, but you actually want to leave it there because... Uh, the unpacked exe will still try and open steam if you delete this original exe so leave this exe alone but just ignore it don't do anything with it always open the unpacked one and as you can see uh, now it just works as Todd Howard, Howard would say ironically and yeah the game starts up just fine works perfectly uh, this method is pretty easy and I'm pretty glad to have found it because after like two years I just could not figure out how to uh, get these newer games to work off of the disc so I'm very grateful once again to my friend Arison for helping and thanks to him we were able to figure this out and now we have a new method for you guys and once again I have my discord linked in the description if you guys need help with anything Go ahead and join and I'll be happy to help. And anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, have a nice day.